good? Okay. Water bottles. So what are we doing in an F-150? We're gonna go get a trailer and tow the Jeep. What happened to the Jeep? It broke down. We don't really know what's wrong with it. Well, let's go. Let's go rescue a Jeep then, right? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. So I was gonna tell you about my trailer. So she's all hooked up, kind of about the right same size stuff, what have you. And now we're gonna go pick up the Jeep after I spent five minutes looking for straps. I wanted to find that there were straps in the truck because McDaniel doesn't. It ain't mine. McDaniel's not over here checking. Go away, dog. Go away. Shoo. All right. Don't forget to shut that door. Gotcha. It's fixed a little bit, but. Okay. Right. Well, let's go rescue us the Jeep. All right, we made it. Three Stooges are now going to attempt to load that Cherokee onto this trailer. And it's a little bit of a downhill area. We're in the middle of downtown. So we're going to push it back, drop the ramps, and try to clear it straight up onto this jalopy. From where we sit so we're gonna go get positioned and then we'll film some more all right attempt uno pushing the jeep So now what you do is we're going to get a strap, we're going to tie the back down, roll the Jeep forward a little bit more so it holds this strap tight, and then ratchet the front down. So now we got it pretty centered it looks like. Not bad, not bad. Not bad for first attempt. Yeah, that worked out well. And I was worried the truck was going to bounce and slide, but it did. We're good. All right, let's tie her down. Camera decides to focus. There we go. Got it on the trailer. <sighs> Use the new fancy dancy ratchet straps that were in the truck. Come on, okay, there we go. Got one going across that side, one going across this side. And we use the seat belt strap on the back. It's on there good enough. And going to where park, handbrake up. You never leave this state. Y'all good? Good to go. Alright. Hope the ball hitch holds up. Hit the road, buddies. Alrighty, come on, camera. There we go. Give some breathing room. Well, Jay's regular service. We had to stop here at the Burger King and get us a bite to eat because I got too hungry to keep driving. But we still got us a Jeep in the back. It's still in tow with them little army looking dudes on the back window. That's pretty cute cool looking. Alright. Pray for our. Yeah, this is gonna look like crap. I don't even know what to look like. Let's uh. uh nope. All right, so we're gonna carry on now in the third F ten thousand. All right, all right. Alrighty, guys and gals, home stretch. She did her. Now we're gonna bag it off and push it over here and. Let him work on it when he gets to. So let's get some ramps and get this thing unloaded. One Jeep of a day. We made it. And she's off the trailer over here now, and uh, this will be the end of the video. We checked, it's not getting full spark, so we swapped out the distributor cap the distributor cap and the rotor button because this was the burnt rotor button that was in it and this is the burnt corroded cap that was in it and we took the one off the uh the jeep sahara 
edition Wrangler. Real cool Jeep over there. And uh, same inline six. So we pulled everything off of it, cap and rotor button wise anyway, threw it on there. Still didn't hit a lick, so it, uh, it appears to be a faulty uh, crank position sensor. So we will uh, go to the junkyard in the morning, snag another crank position sensor and throw it on. And uh, okay. And uh, as far as reference goes, if you're looking at the engine, I know the hood's closed, but it's on the back, back here at the bottom. Uh, and crank position sensor will cause it to not start, weak spark, no spark, or intermittent start. And uh, that's what this one's got. Uh, it started as an intermittent start up and stall, and now it won't fire at all. So crank position sensor, and uh, she'll be good as new. So we're going to leave it here tonight. Uh, take the F-150, go back home. i got to get ready and go to work because I'm late. And uh, we'll throw the position sensor on it in the morning, and I'll film tomorrow if that was the culprit. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Y'all have and, a good time. And shortly after we get this thing all put back together, McDaniel's going to join us with Jesse and Jesse's Jeep, and we're going to go do some light off-roading. Got to be light. Got to be light. Two wheels. Well, we, he's got four wheel and chains, so we're we're not going in like crazy. We, you you just you, you haven't done it yet. We have to go do it. So let's uh let's do that after this so thanks for watching guys you got anything you want to add nah, patrick good. you good patrick yep. mcdaniel this is tim Arlian at the big mcdaniel follow him on social media youtube right. stuff like that he's been in a few of our videos with the jeep so far so uh, youtube.com forward slash snake squad gaming or you can YouTube. search com forward slash tim Arlian snake squad gaming tim Arlian snake squad gaming or you can just google tim Arlian that's right and it'll it'll pop in right up m-e-r-l-i-e-n it'll pop right up <laughs> we'll see you in the next one